Another game, popular amongst home games, is called Screw Your Neighbor. In Screw Your Neighbor, you're basically just trying to get the highest card that you can in one round so you do not have to put into the pot. Let's look and see how this game is played out. If you'll look at the board, each player has three chips in front of them. And this is a predetermined amount that the players will decide on. These players are playing for $3 on this hand. In one round of the hand, each player will receive one card face down. The ace being the absolute lowest card that you have, and the king being the highest. Now the king is also a stopper. The way this hand starts is the player to the left of the dealer will look at their card. They look at it and they see that it's an ace. They don't want this card, so they pass to the player to their left and give them that card. Unless this card is a king, that player has no option but to pass that card. So the player looks at it, it was a king, he can actually flip that card up. So we know this player, well, these two players know that he's stuck with whatever he has. So once he has a king showing, this player will look at their card. It was a five, he doesn't want to play that card. So again, he passes to his left, and unless this is a king, this player has to give that card up. It was a two. This player was, this, this player was the dealer. He got the five if he wanted to, he has the option to take from the top of the deck, but since he knows that his player is stuck with this two, he does not have to take one. All the cards are flipped over. The person with the lowest card will have to put one chip into the pot. The cards are then scooped up, re-dealt, and another hand is played the exact same way. And until each player has all their chips in the pot, leaving one player with at least one chip left, this is the player who will rake the entire pot. And that's how Screw Your Neighbor is played.